Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Discord.js bot series. So actually this is the second episode of uh, Discord.js uh, uh, programming uh, and coding for making a Discord bot. So in today's video we're gonna just do some simple events and simple commands uh, with cool stuff. So then uh, when, we, when we wrote something uh, in our bot or some stuff like that, it's gonna respond to us. Uh, like when we said hi, the bot is gonna say hi, respond to us by using the prefix as well. So this is the second episode and we're just gonna do some events as well. So when we, when our bot got online, it's gonna give us an event in our uh, um, terminal. So it will say the bot is online. So that's how it is. And here as we can see, we have our index.js. I added some, some codes, don't worry. I will explain each of these codes for you. All right, so as you can see, we have bot dot already async or uh, something like this. So well, in here um, we said that when our bot is got online, uh, like ready, the bot was ready. It's gonna console in our console or our terminal. It's gonna say our bot name by using this command here is online. By the way, I should notify you that there's a link in the description that all of the codes are in the GitHub. I made a GitHub for you so you will uh, get the source code without any problems. You know, there's a link in the description so um, you guys can uh, see each episode of my GitHub. Uh, so when for example if I click on this GitHub right now, it's gonna redirect me to a link. Uh, as you can see, all the episodes, like if you click on branch here, you will see all of the episode, episode 1. I didn't uh, upload an episode 2 yet, but if I upload, I will put the episode 2 branch. So if I click on this, it's going to show me the source code, bot settings, index, IJS, it's going to show me everything. So you guys can see the source code that I use in the video, just letting you know, so you will have no problems with it. Well, as you can see in here, it says console.log, and when our bot got online, it's going to set an activity. Well, I gotta type uh, the activity. Uh, so in here it says hello, and in here we can do listening, we can do playing, and a custom status. Like this. Well, well, in here you can do the custom status, you can do the listening, you can do the playing, you can do the streaming, and do the watching. I'm gonna click on watching. Uh, you can put um, just if you are using uh, a streaming here. Uh, so like if I wanna do streaming, hold on, streaming. There we go. If I want to do streaming, uh, the streaming should have a URL, so don't forget about that. You should put the URL here. But if you click on watching or other things, uh, you should just put uh, something like remove this one. I don't need this because I don't need the URL. You just put this and the URL is this. So, well, um, first of all, uh, if you want to put an activity like uh, let's just say I want to do an activity watching, I guess, for the bot. So I'm, if, if I click on a type activity called watching and you don't need to URL, URL is only for the streaming. So don't forget about that. Uh, I will remove this one here. And as you can see, the message after watching is going to appear is here. So I'm just going to put watching dash graph, for example. So you will see what is. It. Okay, hold, as you can see now, we have an event. This is called an event. So events are something going to appear when the bot is going to be online, like when bot disconnected, something happened or something. So like in here, we said when the bot is ready, these things will happen. One of them was used in console, one of them was in the activity of our bot. So uh, let's just see how it still look like. So first of all, as you can see, we have a token here and uh, we made a prefix command for our bot config in here. As you can see, uh, first of all, Okay, hold on. Put this uh, point here and then hit uh, enter. As you can see, you will see something like this. Do this and put a uh, prefix in this area and then uh, put this. And as you can see, you can put here your bot token. So for example, if I want my bot prefix, I'm sorry, I'm not bot token, I'm like bot prefix. Bot prefix is like this. It can be anything you want. Like when I put before, like for example, we say, it's exclamation mark hi and the bot's gonna answer so the prefix of her bot is exclamation mark so i'm just gonna put something like question mark i guess when we use the question mark our bot is gonna respond uh, so i'm just gonna save this make sure you put the prefix in here and go to index.js make something like this bot dot on message so this is another event uh this event says when uh, someone used the prefix of our bot first of all it says when uh, someone typed the message this thing's gonna happen. Well, first of all, this is uh, a simple command. Make sure to put this one in here, uh, first of all. And second is the prefix. Prefix is the prefix that we use in here. So I said 
if we type prefix in our code, uh, it means our bot config dot prefix. As you can see, the prefix in bot config. Well, make sure to put that as well. I mean, like bot settings. I, I don't know why. Bot settings. Yeah, there we go. As you can see now, if we go to the bot settings, they have a prefix as well. So make sure you add it in here. Don't forget. And in here, we have list message array. So message array is the thing that we put after a space. Like this is gonna be useful for the clear commands, and the arg is gonna be um, very useful for the arg command for sure. So this is very important. For the arg, make sure you put the message array like this, and the cmd, and the arg. We will need them very much in the future for using the clear commands or some stuff like this. And in here, as you can see, I said if our command equal equal to our prefix here, uh, and after our prefix was something like hi, it's gonna return the message dot channel dot send hello. Well, this is gonna uh, this means that when our command use the prefix of our bod, which is this prefix here we use, or whatever you use for prefix, and then we type hi after it, it's gonna message hello after we did that. So, you can do a reply as well, it's gonna mention you and then gonna put the answer after it. But for now, I'm just gonna do this. And as you can see, we have bought the login bot settings dot token, so the token should be here. After you done the token, and you need to go to terminal, click on new terminal, and then go back here, and then type node space dot and then hit enter and as you can see it will uh it, yeah, there we go so as i told you before our bot dot online when our bot was ready and without any problems it's gonna log our bot username and the is online thing as you can see my bot username is myros and myro and after it's gonna be online which is nice and if i right now go to discord go and go to in dashcraft as if i go back to my discord as you can see uh, if I go now, right, I look at my Myro, it says watching Dashcraft. And I t as I told you, the activity of our bot, it works fine without any problems. Our activity bot is watching Dashcraft. And as you can see, I use watching command and the Dashcraft here. The command after watching prefix. And as I told you, I made a command when I typed the prefix and I said hi. It's going to respond to me. So I type hi here. Hello. The bot answered. It's, it's really cool for the basic things. It's amazing. Well, as you can see now, our bot works fine. I want to add another command like um, reply command. So all I need to do is just copy this code here and then hit enter and then paste the command here as well. So every time you want to add a command here, uh, you need to copy this and paste it and you need to change this area. So like, for example, if I in here said dash craft, for example, uh, it's going to respond to me like something creative, like I don't know uh dash craft uh is good like for example i don't know what to put actually so as uh, you need to do uh, i'm just gonna remove this because i want to show you something reply there we go the difference between my channel dot send is it's not gonna mention it's just gonna say answer like hello but if you did message dot reply it's gonna do something very interesting so if i do note that i save this before you do anything by the way as you can see my is online and if i type um like dash craft right now it's good, Free FM tool is good, like something like this. It's gonna mention me and then put something like this and it's gonna say it's good. Well, this is the basic commands for this. Uh, so, anything you wanna do is the event and the, uh, something like this. Well, you can, be, you can do anything you want with this. Also, if you don't have the source code, it's fine. Uh, if you can type this or you have any problem, just check the link in the description so you guys can see the source code of my code. In the GitHub, this is the second episode. Don't forget about it. If you didn't see the first episode, make sure to watch that because we did a lot of boss setups in the uh, first episode. And um, I think that's all for this episode. The next episode is gonna be much more interesting, I guess, because I'm gonna add some clear commands and maybe in the future command handler. So if you like this video, make sure to like, hit the subscribe button, and follow me in the socials in the description. If you have any questions about the source code or some stuff like this, make sure to join, join into our Discord server or you can also join, I mean like comment, comment down below. So I will answer, don't worry, uh, I will answer so fast because I have a notification on for each command, comment, comments I mean, oh my god. Well, that's how it is and thanks for watching, subscribe and I hope I will in the next episode and goodbye, peace.